Hey there everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome to my playthrough of E.T. the Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600. This will actually be the first time I will ever really play this game, and what I mean by really play it is I actually read the manual this time. I've, you know, plugged the game in before and uh, tried moving E.T. around, but uh, if you know anything about this game, you know that it is uh, pretty much impossible to play unless you've read the manual. And I think that's one of the reasons why this game often gets called the worst video game of all time. If you've heard that, get that out of your head. It is not even close to the worst video game of all time. It also gets blamed for the North American video game crash of 1983. And while it certainly shared some of the blame for that, it was not what caused that crash. In case you don't know the story, uh, when E.T., uh, when Atari got the license for E.T., they thought it would be a system seller, so they actually uh, produced more cartridges than there were Atari 2600 units in the world. Uh, they thought that people would be so eager to play E.T. that they would actually go out and buy Atari 2600s to play it. However, that didn't happen, and a bunch of stores didn't sell E.T., and so they started to send them, sending them back to Atari, and Atari really didn't have anything to do with them. Uh, they, it cost money to store things, and so, as you may have heard, they ended up dumping a bunch of them, along with a bunch of other Atari stuff, not just E.T., into a landfill in Alamogordo, New Mexico. There is all kinds of information about that on the internet, though, so I'm not going to go into that too much. We're just here to play E.T. I am actually playing this on actual hardware, which may explain why it looks so crappy. There are three different versions of this game you can play. In uh, version 1, uh, version 1 is the most difficult, version 2 is a little bit easier, and then version 3 is the easiest. And I'm actually going to start on uh, version 3 to kind of get my feet wet. Um, in version 3, um, there aren't, well, I guess you could say there aren't bad guys in version 3. Let's put it that way. Uh, as I play the game, I'll explain a little bit about it to you, at least from what I understand from the manual that I just read. Uh, in case you don't know, the goal of this game is just simply to get E.T. home. He is stranded here on Earth, and his only friend is a young boy named Elliot. Uh, however, the FBI and uh, scientists uh, want to uh, capture him and, I guess, do tests on him. So he's trying to run away from the bad guys and collect pieces of a phone that he can use to call, call home, or phone home as he says, and then a spaceship will come and pick him up. That's what we're trying to do in this game, we're trying to find all of the pieces to the phone so that we can assemble those pieces and then call home. So let's go ahead and get started. There is E.T.'s ship and it drops us here in a forest. and. Uh, this is where we will go at the end of the game to uh, hopefully be picked up and brought back home. The uh, number at the bottom of the screen, 9999, is how much energy E.T. has. He only has a, s a limited amount of energy, so um, you have to uh, manage that. There are ways to get more energy, so I'll show you how to do that. And then if you look at the, upper, at the top center of the screen, that is called the power zone. And different icons will show up there as we move around. And those basically allow E.T. to perform different powers. We'll say that. Uh, I believe that icon up there right now is the, oh, the landing site icon. I actually don't remember what that one's called. But uh, that's the icon that we want to find uh, at the end of the game. So there you go. So now you can see that it's an arrow pointing left. And you also may have noticed that when I move around, uh, the uh, his, his energy goes down. So just simply walking around uses up energy. And uh, whatever is in the power zone at the top center of the screen is what power ET will perform when I press the red fire button on the joystick. The left arrow means that when I press the button to perform that power, I will instantly be transported to the screen to the left of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. There. Now we are one screen to the left, and you'll notice that the uh, power zone has changed. Now it looks like the letter E um, yelling. That's actually uh, the pow the uh, we can use that to call Elliot. Okay, so when that's up there, if we press the button, 
Elliot will be called, and he will come. He should come. There he is. There's Elliot. He looks like Ernie. Is in Bird and Ernie to me. Uh, but uh, that was Elliot. Now, he didn't do anything. And the reason he didn't do anything is because we didn't have any candy to give him. So what we do here is we walk around, and these little dots that we see, these are candy. And if you remember from the movie, they're Reese's Pieces is what they are. And you may notice now in the lower uh, kind of left of the screen, uh, you see a number one show up to the left of our energy. That means we now have one piece or one Reese's piece. And uh, if we want Elliot to help us out, uh, we can we can call Elliot just like we just saw right here. Uh, well, wherever that power thing went. I don't know if these things change. There we go. If we call Elliot um, and we have nine Reese's pieces, Elliot will run off and help us find one of the phone pieces because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find three phone pieces that we can gather and then uh, bring them back to a certain location, I think. Gosh, I don't remember. And uh, and then call or phone home. I need to say phone home. That's what E.T. says. He says phone home. So I only have one Reese's piece, so there's no sense in calling Elliot. Although I can call him, so I'll go ahead and call him, and he'll, he'll come, and he'll take that Reese's piece away from us. Now that sounds mean, uh, until you realize that uh, for every piece that he takes from us, we get bonus points at the end of the game. So you can do that to get extra points if you want. So we are trying to find pieces of this phone. And how do we do that? Well, we walk around, and what, what I'm hoping will happen is the power zone will change to a question mark, like you just saw right there. So now if I use my ability, if I press my red power button, oh, did you see that? In the upper left-hand uh, dark spot there, these are pits. I don't know why there are pits in this game, but there are pits. I don't remember there being any pits in the movie, but then again, it's been a long time since I've seen the movie. Um, the phone pieces will be located in pits, so we need to look in pits. Well, rather than just dropping in random pits, we can use this special ability to get the phone piece to show up. And if you saw it flicker real quick in the upper left um, pit, then that indicated that there's a phone piece there. So I'm gonna drop down into this pit, and there's one of the phone pieces. So let's go pick it up. So we pick it up. And now in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, kind of directly over top of E.T.'s head, you see a little icon show up there. That's a piece of the phone. So we have that piece now. But we're down here in this pit. So how the heck do we get out of this pit? Well, E.T. can levitate. Isn't that cool? Well, we can levitate out of this pit. And we do that by pressing the fire button. His neck extends. And now we press up, press up on the joystick and he starts to float. Now we're out at the top of the pit. And we made it out of the pit. Now, this game is notorious for people falling back into the pit. This is one of the reasons why people have so much trouble with this game. It's because when you're levitating out of the pit, you're pressing up on the joystick. Well, when the screen changes to this screen, you need to stop pressing up immediately. Because if you keep pressing up, you're going to fall back into the pit. So once you've levitated up and the screen changes, stop pressing up, and then you could press left, right, or down, and that'll get you out of the pit. Simple as that. So here is a Reese's piece that I'm going to pick up, and I'm going to take advantage of that uh, left arrow up there and uh, use my special power to travel to this screen. Here's another Reese's piece. And I'm going to walk around and look for the question mark because I want to see... Okay. That symbol there, oh gosh, I don't remember what that symbol is. Hmm. Oh crap, I don't remember what that is. I'll have to look at the manual. Um, I'm looking for the question mark. So you can imagine that it would be pretty much impossible to play this game if you didn't read the manual. And that's, that's what happened. A lot of people tried to play the game without reading the manual. And you're just not going to figure it out. You're just not. You're not going to know that that symbol at the top of the screen means send the bad guys back to Washington, D.C. Yeah, that's what it means. I'm not kidding. That's what it means. But there's no there's no bad guys in this this uh, version of the game we're playing. We're playing version 3, so there's no bad guys. So we don't need to do that. So I'm looking for the question mark. See if there's any phone pieces here. And I'm not seeing the question mark. Oh, we call Elliot. Oh, 
Where the heck is the question mark? I really don't want to just drop into these pits randomly. Oh, now I've moved to a different screen. Oh, now I'm on a different screen. Let's grab this Reese's piece here. All right, well, I'm going to walk around on this screen and look for the question mark so that I can see if there is a phone piece in any of these pits. But, uh, man, the heck is the question mark? So like I said, this is actually my first time playing the game for real. And I'm just, uh, you know, going off of what I just read in the manual. And there we go, there's the question mark. So I'm going to press the button. Oh, there must not be a piece on this screen. So there's no phone piece on this screen. Let's go up here. So this is the forest. Oh, we fell in a pit. All right, let's, uh, let's levitate out of this pit. All right. The Reese's piece. There's the question mark up there. I'm going to press the button. Oh, come on. There's no phone piece on this screen. Oh, poo. Let's go to this screen. Well, I've already been on this screen, right? So I don't know whether this is the same screen I was on before or not. Does that make any sense? I, I don't know whether there are multiple screens that look like this or if there's just this one. So where was the question mark on this screen we were on it before? I think it was it up here in this corner? Yeah. No phone piece. Nope. All right. Oh, in a pit. So that's pretty annoying. All I did was walk to the next screen and I automatically fall into a pit. That's pretty annoying. What is, I don't remember what that symbol up there means. Oh, I think I remember what that means now. So you see my energy is now down to 6,700 and it just keeps dropping as we walk around. Well, we can eat these Reese's pieces and they will give us energy. And I think that that symbol up there would make us eat a Reese's piece which would give us some energy. Let's see if there's any uh, piece, pieces of the phone. There's lots of pieces in this game. Let's see if there's any pieces of the phone here on this screen. No, good grief. Okay, I'm starting to get a little annoyed. Let's fast travel to this screen. Let's go down. Oh, okay. Huh. Um. I think that symbol... Okay, so this screen is the Washington, D.C. screen. This is Elliot's house. I guess he lives in D.C. And one of these is the like the science lab, and one of these is the FBI office. And this symbol here, I think, calls home. Um, but since I don't have all of the phone pieces, well, I can't call home. So let's look at this screen here and see if, uh, so every, every screen I go to, there we go. I hope you saw that phone piece in the right, the pit on the right side. Every screen we go to, it looks like there's another Reese's piece. Okay. Let me walk over here and grab this. Now we have two phone pieces. Levitate out of this pit. And we're out. Oh, another Reese's piece. Okay. Let's go to this screen. Nope. Huh. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to the location of these screens. Um, this is pretty common for Atari games. Oh, I have nine Reese's Pieces. I can't seem to pick up anymore. Hmm. Well, let's call Elliot. Let me see if I could find the call Elliot uh, icon and we'll call Elliot. He'll take our nine Reese's Pieces away. And uh, he'll go grab a, the, the other phone piece for us. Because that's what he does. He'll, okay, it's not on the screen. He'll grab a, a phone piece for us. Yeah, if I could find out where to call him from. Elliot! There he is. I'm going to call Elliot. Okay. He'll show up. Hey, Elliot, how you doing? Give me your Reese's Pieces. So he took all of the Reese's Pieces. And now he's coming back and he'll have the phone piece. Now we have all of the phone pieces you can see up there. It vaguely resembles a telephone. 
So I'm going to go ahead and continue collecting Reese's Pieces because we may need some energy. Okay, this is the screen we want to be on. Uh, the icon at the top center of the screen is the spaceship. Okay, now we need to get to the forest before time runs out. That thing that to me looks like an envelope in the upper right hand corner is a timer. So we need to get back here. Here we are. Okay, and then we need to get to... Oh gosh, the icon on this screen. Where is it? There's going to be an icon on this screen. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Where's the icon? Here it is. And we wait right here. It's like a bullseye. So we wait here. And... Oh, am I supposed to call now? Or? And there it is! Yay! We won the game! That was it. <laughs> that's... that's This is the bonus screen. This is uh, showing us how many points we get. So um, we ended up with 12,888 points. I don't know if that's a good score or not. I have no idea. I've never played this before. What do I know? What I find odd is that um, we just beat the game. Uh, well, we just phoned home and uh, supposedly E.T. flew home, but um, looks like we're here in uh, Elliot's yard. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, that was the like easy level of the game. That's like the introductory level to the game. There's no bad guys in that level. So let's move up to level two, shall we? There's the title screen. I'm pressing the uh, game select button on my uh, console here. So game two. That's the, that's the one we're going to play now. Now in game two, I believe the scientist is here, but not the FBI guy. The scientist, I don't think really does anything bad other than uh, he or she just drags you back to the uh, science building. Doesn't take anything from you, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But probably pretty stinking annoying, really. Okay, so I'm gonna fast travel over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Reese's piece. And look for Qu Oh! Oh no, that's um that's the FBI agent. Huh, I was I guess I'm wrong. I thought that in this version of the game there was no FBI agent. Okay, no Reese's piece on this screen. So there's that dude. Huh. Oh, I... Oh, okay, go away. Yeah, I am mistaken. Okay, let's find the question mark on this screen. Huh. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the FBI guy. He looks like an FBI guy. Well, except for the fact that he's not dressed in black, but he looks kind of cloak and dagger with that... It looks like Dick Tracy to me. Oh. So I guess it doesn't really matter if he... Well, you know what? I, th I think he takes our candy from us. That's what he does. Yeah, our candy's gone. So we don't want that doofus to run into us. No, sir. Question mark. Okay, nothing on this screen. Oh, there he is. Go away, you jerk. Go away, man. Oh, we're in a pit. Well, the only good thing about being in a pit is that we're safe. You know, the... The agents can't get into the pit. Oh, he took my damn candy! Oh boy, this is already annoying, and this is only level two of the game. What the heck? Huh. There he is! He's right there! How am I supposed to get away from this doof? Oh boy. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if I press my button, I can speed up and get away from him that way, but that takes energy. So if I press my button while I'm moving my joystick, I can run away from him. But it uses up energy. Get away from me, you jerk. So I'm just running in the hopes of seeing a question mark. Um, man. Okay, I'm going to grab this piece here. Oh, uh, man, I saw the question mark. But I was pressing my joystick at the same time I pressed the... Uh, button. So, okay, there's a piece on this screen. The problem is I can't get away from this doofus. Ah. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh. Was it on this screen? I don't even remember. I think it was. Yes. Oh my gosh. So this, we're going to grab a phone piece. And if this guy touches us, goodbye phone piece. Goodbye phone piece. Just if he just simply touches us. Man. So, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to walk around here. Oh, here he is. And uh, look for question marks. And hope that he doesn't run into us. Okay, there's a piece right there. Okay, so here's the second phone piece. So I don't know if like if we stay down here for a long time, if he'll just disappear. I don't think he will. I don't think he'll just disappear. I think he'll stay up there and wait for us indefinitely. No, nope, he's gone. Oh, you mofo! See, that's not fair that he just shows up there at the edge of the screen like that. I mean, jeez. Look at this! Uh, well, I still have my pieces and my phone piece, so I guess I'm okay, but jeez. This guy needs to leave me alone. Oh, frack. Um, okay, so... <laughs> quickly uh, understanding the annoyance of this game. Man. You need uh, super quick reflexes to get away from this guy. Look at this, right on the edge of the screen. Oh, He took my phone piece. He took my stinking phone piece. I still have my Reese's pieces, but he took my phone piece. Man. So, if he touches us now... Oh, we got lucky and dropped into a hole with a phone piece in it. I don't know whether he would take all of my candy or just one of my pieces of candy. I don't know. Oh, there he is. So, uh... Yeah. Okay... He shows up so quickly that you really don't have an opportunity. Oh, look at me. I'm almost out of food. I mean, out of energy. So I'm going to eat my Reese's Pieces before he steals them from me. Didn't really give us very many. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so this is a flower. And if we revive that flower, um, we can call Elliot an extra time. Or something like that. I think if we run out of energy, Elliot will come and revive us, but only a certain number of times. And so if we revive that flower, then Elliot will revive us an extra time. I believe that's what that was. See, it's stuff you would never, ever figure out if you didn't read the manual. There's no way. Oh, no fun piece on this screen, doggone it. Uh, oh. Oh my gosh, this is impossible. There's phone piece on the screen, but uh, I can't get to it because Doofus is here and he took my phone piece. <laughs> what in the hell am I supposed to do? Wow. Wow. This is not even the hard version. This is not even. Here he comes again. Look at this. Okay, there's a piece. Oh, darn it. I don't want to go in this one. I want to go in this other one over here. Problem is, he's probably going to be between me and that one. No, he's not. Yep, here's a phone piece. The first one. Because he keeps taking them from us. Jerk. Okay, so... Now, okay, so I I used my power with the DC icon at the top of the screen. That sent him away. So I don't know how long he'll stay gone. I hate running on the edge of the screen like this. Okay, nothing on this screen. Yeah, he's a little bit faster than us. fall in a pit. And I am almost out of energy. Oh, he's right there! I wish he would fall in pits. Stupid jerk. Hmm. Yep, I'm gonna run out of energy. I have to eat these. 
sure don't give me very much. Energy, that is. I mean, I could just fall in pits randomly, but uh, that's not really a very smart strategy. Come on. Um, because it uses so much energy to get out of the pits. See? I mean, it, it uses a lot of energy to get out of these pits. You get away from me, you jerk! Okay, nothing in this pit. I have no Reese's Pieces to speak of. Oh, man. I really I wanted to send him back. I hope you're watching the top center of the screen. Ah, uh, no pieces here. Oh, here he is. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He took my phone piece. He took my phone piece. Wow. Okay, this is an incredibly hard game. Incredibly hard. So I could sit here and wait for him to show up. Now I sent him I sent him away. Um so that buys me a little bit of time, but not as much as I would like. No, sir, not even nearly as much time. And it's almost like you just have to get lucky and hope that you walk over top of the question mark. Okay, nothing in there. He, he got me anyway. Th that wasn't fair. So there's probably some strategies that I'm unaware of, like stay away from this side of the screen, you know, stuff like that. I imagine that would, uh, might be helpful. But uh, I don't know what those strategies are. How come we're not getting any more Reese's Pieces, man? They're not, they're not showing up on the screen anymore. Look at that. Look at this. We just keep going from screen to screen. Same screen over and over and over again. So I wonder if you could, like, memorize where the question marks are on these screens. Now, I feel like I've already looked in this, this screen. Yeah. So nothing there. Oh, okay. So don't do that. If I go down... He's going to get you. Simple as that. So I'm going to lose this game. So where's the question mark on this screen? Oh, look at that. He just shows up right in front of me. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Where the heck is the question mark on this screen? I'd rather be in a pit than with that guy. All right, where's the question mark on this screen, David? Uh, it's my favorite guy. Oh, so we're dead. Now Ernie, I mean Elliot, is going to come and revive us. I mean, we only get 1,500 energy. That's that's not very useful, Elliot. Can't you do better than that? Elliot! Look at this. So, uh, okay, let's send him back. Um, okay, there's a piece on this screen. Okay, so we're going to grab this piece. Okay, so I don't think we need to worry about this screen anymore, right? Oh, I'll be damned. Okay, shows what I know. So now we have two pieces. Okay. What the... Save me, Elliot. Whoops. In a pit. So I'm trying to stay away from this guy. I need to learn where the question marks are. I'm not having any luck, though. Send you back to DC, jerkwad. Come on, question mark, come on. He's gonna show back up again. Oh, there he is. So. Oh. <laughs> Why don't I have any more freaking 
Reese's Pieces to eat. Oh man, I didn't think I'd go in it. Okay, Elliot, revive me one more time. I think this is the last revive we get. Alright, where's the question mark on this screen? Man, where the hell is it? Go back to DC, jerk. Where is the question mark? Oh, now he's back. I'm not seeing a question mark on that screen. Okay, he's there's no phone piece on this screen. Okay, let's find the question mark on this screen. Or the DC symbol. Go away. Oh man, there was a question mark right there. Okay, let's see if I can remember that. I, I don't know if it'll stay there though, you know? Oh, he got a phone piece. You jerk. Okay. Yeah, I am not remembering at all where these question marks are. Not at all. Ah. Ah. Well, poo. Oh, this looks like a good place to die. Okay, well, you revived us again. Very difficult. Ugh, I'm having a really hard time remembering where the question marks are on these screens. Oh, oh! Go away! I mean, maybe. Maybe the question marks aren't always in the same place. Okay, put that in here. And. Where's the other question mark? Where was it? Okay, not on this screen. In a pit. And, oh, here comes Elliot again. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, man. You're swell. Oh, that's it. Game over. <laughs> E.T. Why are you smiling, E.T.? You're dead. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a hard game. My gosh, that's not even the hardest level. Oh my gosh. So I don't know, I mean, are you supposed to, like, play this game with a piece of paper and, you know, kind of mark out the screens and as you locate where the question marks are, and the phone pieces are, then you could just quickly run back to those locations and grab the pieces that you need. I don't know. I, I, I kind of think that might be what you have to do. Because even though there's only a few screens and they're pretty simple, I'm having a heck of a time remembering where the question marks are and where the phone pieces are just from running around. I don't know, I guess the screens, even though they're different, they still do look rather similar. Well, I'm going to give this one more try, and then I'm, I'm never going to play this game again. <laughs> Here we go. One more try with my new strategy. Here we go. All right, let's start off on this screen here. So everything's changed. All the question marks are in different places now. So we need to find the question marks. And here's, here it is right here. Okay, so this screen, how the hell am I gonna remember that? The question mark is here, and the phone piece is in the lower left-hand pit. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna remember that. This screen, I'm not gonna pick up the Reese's piece because he'll just take it from me. Go away. Um. Let's find the question mark. Go ahead, touch me, you perv. Okay, so now we know where two of the phone pieces are. All right. I'm trying to 
put this in my memory. You know what? Actually, you do have unlimited time right now to, to map this out on a piece of paper because you're not using any energy. Um, who cares if he touches you? Although in, in um, version one of this game, game one, there is another bad guy, the scientist. And the scientist will come and grab you and take you back to the science center or whatever. So a little, it's a little bit different on that one. But on this one, you, you have all the time in the world to just sit here and make your little map and um, memorize, you know, well, you don't have to memorize anything. You can just write down where stuff is. If I wasn't so lazy, I might get up and uh, do that. But uh, give me a break. I'm recording. I'm busy. You should see this ridiculous setup I have right now to record this. I, normally I just record on my computer and everything I need is on my computer. My computer is upstairs in my computer room. Well, I can't connect my Atari 2600 to my monitor upstairs, so I have it connected to my TV in my living room downstairs. So I had to move all of my equipment down here. And um, it's a good thing my girlfriend is out of town tonight because she would not like the way the place looks right now. <laughs> She's cool though. She's cool. Okay. Okay. I don't know where the question mark is on this screen yet. So how many different screens are there? Like four screens? Question mark. No phone piece on this screen. See, this is making me think that one of the phone pieces, two of the phone pieces are on the same screen is what I'm starting to think. So this screen here, the phone piece is in the pit right above my head and the question mark is oh crap i thought it was in between these two but apparently it's not there's a question mark see does it change oh here's the question mark yes okay good good i was right about this okay that's good that's good little confirmation that i at least knew where the phone piece was this screen I believe the phone piece is in the upper left hand. Yep. Okay. How many screens are there? I've only found two phone pieces. Oh, bull crap. Now you can't, we can't be falling in pits because that uses up too much energy. I don't want to be on this screen. Ah. Yeah, go ahead. Touch me. See if I care. Elliot! Go away. Okay, again, we've been on this screen. Question mark here. Phone piece there. Well, I don't want to be on this screen. Oh, puts us right in a pit. Come on now. So, this screen... No phone piece on this screen. Mm. Don't like it. Don't remember where the question mark is. Okay, it's right here. No phone piece on this screen. Ain't that some crap? So I have to believe that the third phone piece is... on one of these two screens. Oh, baloney. Baloney. Oh, no! <sighs> That's not fair. That is not fair. How am I supposed to... <sighs> what the hell? How am I supposed to... prevent that, I ask you? Huh? Now the phone piece is in a different place. Now it's in a different place. Oh man, go away, jerk. Dang it. Ugh. Well, my strategy is completely falling apart now. Look at this. Look at this. Will he even leave? He took our he took our Reese's piece from us. Wow. 
Oh man, I am so disappointed. Oh my gosh, why did I just fall into a pit? Come here, you. There, go away. Question mark. Phone piece. One phone piece. Okay. Go away! Damn it! Oh, he took my phone piece. He took my phone piece. He took it. He just he just appeared at the edge of the screen and took it. It's not fair. I'm gonna consume these so I get some energy. Go away, jerk. No phone piece on this screen. Come on, there's so many juicy pits here. I can't believe there's no phone piece on this screen. No phone piece on this screen? Ah, crap, he's on my tail. Oh, he's on my tail. Haha, uh -huh. I ate my Reese's piece. Go away. No phone piece on this screen. Where the hell are the phone pieces? So I want to stay away from the bottom of the screen because that seems to get us in trouble. Phone piece. <clears throat> All right. Will he go away? See, there's got to be some strategy to this right here. I wonder if it matters where I levitate in the pit. See? F phone piece. Two different phone pieces on the same damn screen. That's a problem. That's a problem. I think it is. I think it's a problem. Okay, no phone piece on this screen. Oh, oh, the chase is on. Gotta get away from him. Ah, oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Look at this. Oh, he took one of my phone pieces. Here's a flower that we could... Oh, we can't levitate there. Oh, okay, get away from the flower. <laughs> can't levitate around the flower. Uh, I don't want him to touch us because I have a bunch of Reese's Pieces and I don't want him to take any. Go away. Ugh, no phone pieces on this screen. Aww. Yeah, we're about ready to die. I think, I think uh, E.T. looks like Snoopy when he's dead. Like Snoopy laying on the doghouse. That's what I think anyway. Oh, that was a question mark. Nothing. There. I ate all my Reese's pieces. What are you going to do about it? But I still have... I have no phone pieces. None. Zero zip zilch. Nada. Go away, you puke. No phone pieces on this screen. There's one. <laughs> this is this is ridiculously hard. But I I don't know if it if it's coming through on uh, the um, you watching it on YouTube, but I, f I can't help but feel that there's got to be a strategy that can be cracked and used. I, I just, oh, he got me anyway. I wanted to send him back to DC, but he got me before I could press the button. No phone pieces. 
Yeah, I mean, I just, there just has to be some kind of strategy, like, if you play it enough times, you're going to learn, oh, he, he shows up, you know, on this corner of this screen, or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know where the question mark is on this screen. Oh, I don't want to get me because I have a bunch of Reese's Pieces. I want to eat them. I want to consume them. But I don't know where the circle is on this screen. <laughs> I don't know whether I was able to eat all of them, but uh, I tried really hard. So, yeah, I'm going to have to say that maybe... You might be able to do this, pen, you know, pen and paper, you know, like a good, like a, like an adventure game should. I mean, this is an adventure game. That's what it is. This is adventure. And, you know, like any good adventure game, you need to map it out. And I thought I knew where the question mark was on this screen. You know, you need to map, map, map this stuff out. So you put on your map all of these screens. You put down where the question marks are on them. And then, you know, you mar map where the phone pieces are, and then you go get the phone pieces. That's what you do. That's, that's really the only way I can think to do it. Oh, I don't like that at all. But, well, I don't know. We still have a couple of revives. Oh, I need to quit going down on that screen, because that's what happens. Come on, Ernie. Revive Snoopy. This way, yeah. I I don't know where the uh, question mark is on this screen. There's a phone piece. I don't know why I decided to go get it because he's just going to take it from me. Oh, look at that! <laughs> How? What am I supposed to do about that? There's nothing you can do about that. Am I supposed to like go through the pit and um, you know? Instead of trying to go around the screen, do this. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because that was a bullcrap move. That was a bullcrap move. Come on, Ernie. Mouth to mouth right here, buddy. Float across this side. No phone pieces. How frustrating. And the Reese's pieces after a while are like, you know what? Screw you. If you can't if you can't figure the game out by now, you don't get any more Reese's pieces. The hell with you. That's that's how I feel. That's what I think the game is saying to us. I didn't fall in a pit. What the hell? That's what I feel like the game is saying to us. It's like <laughs> Nope. You've already eaten your allotment. If you can't if you can't manage yourself, the hell with you. That's what I feel like. It's very... This, this game is like life. It just, just smacks you in the face, man. It just beats you right upside the face. You know, you try. You think you're doing good. And it's like, nope. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where the question mark is on this screen, damn it. Is it right here? Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna die. And all I feel is sweet relief. relief. <laughs> Death, take me away. <laughs> uh, don't revive me, Elliot. Oh, damn you, Elliot. I didn't want to be revived. Where'd the phone piece go? I thought the phone piece was in that pit. Where'd it go? Oh, that's weird. Now it's in there. What's that crap? Oh, baloney. Oh, he took my phone piece. Well. Yeah, that is... This is one frustrating game. This is one immensely frustrating game. And... I don't think I'm going to play it anymore. 
I was really hoping that if I read the instructions, uh, which, you know, nobody seems to do, that I would be able to play the game. And I was able to play it on the easy level, sure, without that doofus running around, so at least we know what the winning screen looks like. Not much to it. What do you expect as an Atari 2600? So, I'm going to end my play here. I hope you have enjoyed this playthrough. And I hope you noticed on which day I posted it. So, happy April Fool's Day, everybody. Hope to see you again in another one of my Let's Plays.